What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood, and we're going to do a special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial for Lazy Gamer, and he's just getting back into RPG Maker Envy with a new project, so that's cool man. Um, he says the Making a Game series has inspired me, but he's looking at Yanfly's Synthesis plugin, and what he's trying to do is make one item turn into five items instead of uh, you know, five items turning into one item. So he has the right idea. You say I could use Yanfly's item disassemble, but that's a whole nother plug. Any any ideas? And I understand it could be difficult trying to learn another plugin, and each plugin takes time and effort. But let me show you that it's not that hard to do to use this plugin. So you're right. We're going to use Yanfly's item disassemble, and I'm not going to go over everything it can do because it can do a whole lot of stuff. But I'll show you how quickly you can make what you're looking to do. So just put the plugin in the right place and, uh, underneath the item core and you're going to get it uh, item disassemble. It's an expansion you can see from the X so you have to have the item core. Put uh, item dis disassemble on and uh, you can change the sound effects if you want if whatever to whatever you want them to be. Uh, the help file here here is it's kind of complicated at first but once you understand how it works it's pretty easy basically you need an item that works as a disassembler so an item that you use to take something apart like a, a, a blacksmithing hammer to to smash out something you know or in this case I'm using uh, like a knife for a skinning a skinning knife and then you also need to note tag the item that you're going to disassemble so everything you need to know is in, is in uh, the help file, but let me just get to something that's very uh, easy to look at. So go to your items, create a couple new items. You're going to make your disassembler item. In this case, we're going to make a leather cutting knife. You're going to give it no, uh, no consumable, never occasion, scope of none. You're going to give it disassembler. You're going to put a colon here. And then you can put whatever you want right here. This name is arbitrary. You can just put scraping or whatever you want it to be. You can put leather crafting, whatever you want. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just calling it leather. So we're creating our own disassembler type. So we've created our disassembler type uh, leather type for the knife. Then we need to note tag the item that we want to turn into other items, right? The thing we want to take apart. So once again, you can do this with uh, several different different ways in the, the plugin. But I found it, it's really easy just to make up a type and then uh, put that as in the disassembler pool. So we're going to add some note tags here. We're going to do, do disassembler pool, colon, and then we're going to put the same name as the disassembler item. So we're creating a knife that's disassembler leather. So in the disassembler pool, we're going to say this is the leather disassembler pool. And inside this uh, pool, Here's what you can have. If you want to have multiples of an item, you can just write X and then the number. And you said you wanted it to turn into five, so we'll do X five. One thing that uh, caught me off guard, I would do this times five, or I would go a five X and then leather strap. So this wouldn't work. It only reads the X and then a number. If you put the number first, it won't read the, any of the line. So one little uh, thing that got me stuck for a little while was writing the number first. Uh, alternatively you can go like this and you can just have multiple copies if you want it to go like that. It'll work the same. But to save uh, you from typing extra stuff just go X and then the number you want to have of that item and then the name of the item. If you have multiple items of the same name you can also go item and then the number um, so you would write for strap 399 and I believe that would work too but reference the help file for the pools and everything and you can set that up however you want I know this method works for sure so I'll show you once we've got these two items set up just award them in the game however you want to do that I'm sure you can figure that out Let's take a look at it. Now we've set all of our items to no scope, not consumable, and the occasion of never. The reason why we don't need them to do anything is because the plugin is handling all that for us. So if we go to our item, you don't use the disassembler by itself. You go to the item and then you dismantle the item. You see how we have, we have an option here to dismantle it. So if we go to this, it won't give us anything. It's grayed out. 
it won't let us won't let us use the knife. But if we go to the leather hide or anything we want to disassemble, disassemble, we can do that from here. So once we've selected the item that we want to disassemble, it's going to look through our inventory and it's going to show all of the items that have that note tag of uh, disassembler. In this case, we only have one, the leather cutting knife. So we're going to select that one. But um, if you have multiple, you'll be able to see what you can get uh, with this disassembler. This is a really cool feature, even though it's an extra layer of complexity. It's really cool when you once you understand it. Because now you can have different tiers of leather cutting knives. You can have a leather cutting knife plus one that gives uh, six leather straps instead of five. So it would give the player incentive to have better uh, crafting uh, tools, right? So here's how you would make it. Everything is, is uh, as shown. You get your five leather straps. So once uh, that happens, you can see we've got our leather straps, which we don't have any use for yet. But that's basically it. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, um, Lazy Gamer. Uh, thank you for your comment. If you have any more special requests, put them in the comments below. And I'll get to them as soon as I can. So you guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode.